I've been on a spiritual grind time You can't stop the plans he has for my life I've been on some dark dusty roads boy Well we had us a nice nice little storm roll through last night everything got lots of water the river's probably going to be pretty murky today I mean we probably had inches of rain pretty muggy this morning but the wind is blowing and that is always nice oh by the way hello all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land and welcome back to the Hewitt homestead we are getting back on our shoreline restoration reclamation whatever you want to call it I had the littles coming out here with me they were gonna help but um, Skyland stepped in an ant bed so he's inside doctoring up his ant wounds check it out check it out this is our little beach a little beach head a little beach front and like i said the water yep it is murky but that's all right because we're not here for swimming and playing today we're going to try to clean this area up i've got axes machetes shovels we're going to try to clean this area up i got jesslyn here to help you ready to rock and roll all right and she's got my old phone she's going to be making her own videos today i paused it. you paused it you paused the one you were making you know what you should do jess what? you should go get your water shoes because we're going to be kind of in the water i guess flip-flops aren't too bad i, uh, want, I don't i don't want to walk <laughs> <laughs> probably working on a time lapse kind of video today gotta put you in the shade or else this phone gets too hot and you turn off and you're gonna miss out on all the fun and excitement <laughs> take a little break it's hot I am covered in sand and water and sweat so I took my boots and socks off because it's just better to be with nothing and have all the water and sand rubbing on you and getting you all you know raw in places you don't want to be raw yeah. yeah some dark dark clouds rolling in y'all y'all want to head in why don't you head in? I guess I don't have anything out here that can't get wet. Just on take your little thing with you. Absolutely. Thank you for your help. It's been fun working with you. At this point, you might as well head on inside before you get soaked. If you want to play in the rain, play in the rain uh, on the back porch so you don't get no. muddy. Now, I'm not don't worry about cleaning this up too perfectly because <clears throat> I'm going to be reclaiming I'm sorry I'm going to be building sand castles right here and piling some new sand up here well technically the old sand that used to be here that's out there I'm going to bring it back up here to build a sand castle with. Whew, tell you what this is some Slow going, tedious work. Again, it's going to be so worth it. I can already see at least two lawn chairs right here. That's good. That's me and Mama. Cup of coffee, holding hands. You know, can, can, you, can you see it? Can you visualize it? It's going to be good. <laughs> Tell you what, we're going to do one faster than the time lapse. Here's the before, and this is the after. Well, I'm getting tired, and uh, I need to conserve a little energy for building my sandcastle. 
but I can't do that quite yet because the tide's still too high. Probably just now starting to go out. I want to say it was a little higher, just a touch higher, a little bit ago. So I'm going to take a break, maybe grab some lunch, and I'll head back out here in, in a little bit. And we'll build a sandcastle in time. Well, I'm done with lunch. The tide hasn't gone out much. Actually, I don't think it went out at all. But it's supposed to be low at like 7, and it's like 2. It should be, I guess it's just now starting to turn. Well, I ain't got much time left today. Got to go to work tonight, so I'm going to do what I can do. I'm going to see if this is even worth doing. Tired boy. Just leave tired yet? Hello, baby. I don't know why you ain't helped me one stinking bit. Well, you did kind of flatten it out a little bit. I don't know how many trips I made. It wasn't a terrible lot, but it was enough to get this area covered with at least one layer. So we'll see what happens when another high tide rolls in and rolls out. See how the water kind of smooths it out like this. I think this is all that dirt, all that sand that I put up here a couple days ago. The one I was telling you about in the last video that uh, I didn't film it, but I was bringing you out here to show you all my good hard work and it was gone. I think it just kind of flattened itself out right here. I think that's what happened. Well, this is all the good finds that we've got from the shoreline today. All this stuff was, fortunately, uncovered and exposed before I stepped on it. Oh. And there's some more glass over there. So, just random hunks of metal, broken glass. Uh, yeah, thank God I didn't step on any of it. But it was all unearthed while I was uh, digging out those roots. I wonder why these things are all over heavy. Yeah, those are metal. I don't know. It looks like an old railroad spike. Maybe. I don't know what that big one is over there. These look like they might have been old railroad ties. Or not railroad ties, but railroad spikes. I should probably start an Etsy page. Sell this stuff. We'll call it River Junk from the Hewitt Homestead. You know, give me a few weeks. I'll get it up and going. You can buy some souvenirs from the Hewitt Homestead. My goal is to continue to work on the sandcastle foundation right here. And then, since we're not just building a little sandcastle, it's more like a sandcastle deluxe, deluxe five-star sandcastle. I'm just going to keep bringing that foundation out just a little bit more. Kind of playing around with the idea of uh, shoring up the foundation of the sandcastle. Maybe some, uh, you know, pressure treated two by fours it wouldn't be a two by four pressure treated posts you know and maybe some two by sixes or concrete bags you've seen them where they just set them in place and hose them down and they get hard and they can form little well what's the word not that i would put one of those in without permission but i think they call them retaining walls but i'm just building a sand castle but we're going to leave you here guys as always want to say thank you so much that you're here you chose to click on our video and follow along with us and join us on our journey out here on these 11 acres trying to make it a homestead that produces good food trying to make it fun as well you know and all that good stuff we love you guys we appreciate you make sure you're, you're subscribed and, and hit like and the bell and all that good stuff so uh you can keep joining us every time we put another one out did you want to say something else? Um, and have a blessed day.
All right, guys, we love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.